Hello church, I hope you're doing really well. Uh, I'm Gabriel, I'm uh, part of the Chester location. Uh, in Chester, I'm uh, part of the youth team and I really love it. I get to be a part of leading the boys life group um, and each week I get to have a bit of an insight into how the boys are growing their relationship with God but I think what inspires me the, the most is their willing, willingness to, to make Jesus known to their friends um, not just through everyday conversation but also by using their gifts as well and even in times where the boys might be struggling with things like uh, exams or maybe a bit of bullying or really tough things that only teenagers really really understand and um, they often find ways of still being able to continue to uh, express their faith um, to their friends and to people they know um, and that's what I wanted to touch upon today and in 1 Peter, Peter is writing to encourage Christians who were struggling with living under the occupancy of non-believers and, and Peter is sort of advising them on how they should uh, live in those like hard circumstances and in 1 Peter 4 verse 8 says most important of all continue to show deep love for each other for love covers a multitude of sins and I thought this was really great because uh, what he's sort of saying in other words is a lot of the sin we sort of struggle with um, maybe sort of jealousy uh, envy or, or anger they're things that I sort of find quite hard myself they are dealt with by making a choice to to show the love that Peter describes and I know that sort of it's quite an old song, but there was an old song that um, my mum used to have on a CD, and it was by DC Talk, and it was all about uh, love being a verb, and and I thought that was really great. The main lyric was uh, "love is a verb," and I thought that was really great because it's like it's not just a thing that comes naturally all of the time. Um, sometimes we really have to put in the work to be able to show uh, that love that, that Peter's describing, being able to sort of make that decision to, to do it. Uh, and Peter further describes using gifts to serve one another in, in verse 11. Um, do you have the gift of helping others? Do it with all the strength and energy that God supplies. Then everything you do will bring glory to God through Jesus Christ. And I think that's just a really great example um, for how we should live. And I think it's it's quite inspiring to see the to, to see the life group boys being able to do that. So I really feel like it's something that we can all work on to. Um, and I really want to encourage you to think about ways today that you can use any challenges um, that come up in your day to day life of. of making that choice to, to show that love that um, Peter described in 1 Peter 4 verse 8. Um, so yeah, I hope you have a really great day 